Hello YouTube, Jake from Addix Random. I'm here to bring you a quick video, I hope, on how to overclock your A8 3500M to 3 gigahertz. But that's not it. It goes higher. And you'll see in a minute what I mean. But first I'm going to show you real quick. As you can see, they go to 3 with a max of 4,800. Yeah. So, first thing you're going to need is K10 stat. You download it somewhere. There's plenty of uh, videos how to download this if you don't know. But once you get it, just double click on the app. And yeah, of course. And then once it comes up, you're going to have this. You want to go over into P state. What I did is what is I made a stock uh nah, stock profile and put all the stock information in there. And then I went back up to profile one and did all this. <clears throat> so basically you're going to have to change your FIDs, your DIDs, and your voltage for each one of your profile, or I don't even know what to call them, but you want to, I always start from the bottom, and I'm going to list all these in the description, I'm going to go slow so you can see them, P6 is at an FID of 10, DID of 2, and a voltage of 0.9375. That makes it run at 1300 megahertz or 1.3 gigahertz. This is the minimum and it's just 200 megahertz under the maximum of what it was stock. And as you can see, it's at the same voltage. And then, or uh, P5 is at an FID of 12, DID of 2, and a voltage of 0.9625, and that raises it to 1400 megahertz, or of course 1.4 gigahertz. And P4, FID of 16, DID of 2, voltage of 9875, and that raises it to 1.6 gigahertz. This is over the maximum of what it was stock. Then she goes to 1800 megahertz, FID of 20, DID of 2. Voltage of 1.0125. Then it goes to 2100 megahertz or 2.1 gigahertz. The FID of 26, DID of 2, voltage of 1.075. Then, then FID of 29, DID of 2, voltage of 1.1. And this is your maximum. Right, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, how I figured this out to work the first time I did this is this is your turbo speed and this is your maximum regular speed, but that isn't the case. That is my maximum regular speed and then it just maxes out off the charts pretty much. But anyways, P0 is an FID of 31, that's the max. The ID of 2, and a voltage at 1.2, that's my processor's rated max voltage. But a beer at B0, an FID of 29, and DID of 1, voltage of 1.2875, that raises it up to 3000 megahertz or 3 gigahertz, and... Voltage is above what this processor is rated at, but it can take a little more voltage. So once you get all these sorted, you want to make sure boost is enabled. All up percents at 60 and down percents at 20. That's uh, what default options are, so you don't have to change them. And make sure these are at zero. 
both of them. I don't know why, but and then hit apply and OK. And that closes them. As you can see, just at a not doing anything temperature is at 130. Uh, my max I got it up to is about. But anyway, you're gonna want to open open core temp if you have it. This is the best. Holy crap! Oh Jesus! I I'm speechless. I don't know what this thing is doing, but that is holy crap. As you can see, it's running at 1.2 volts, it's maximum. Four cords at four threads, running all at 4.7 gigahertz. That TJ Max is the manufacturer's recommended max for this processor. And I don't know why that's lying to me. That says 132 for the max. Now I've gotten it way higher than that even today, just sitting here doing nothing. Well, doing something, of course. Focus, thank you. So, as you can see, I'm going to do, I'm going to actually go get K10 stat and see what that says for clock speed. Now, I don't know why these are because in here it says that's at the norm at normal at 2350 that's what I set the max for but I don't know why that says that's at 4700 <laughs> oh Jesus if someone can tell me why or which one is more legit please do because if that is legit that is holy crap holy crap yeah that's what it is so holy crap you want to minimize uh, core temp so they go back up here and you still get your temps here so I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like it. If you didn't, please dislike it. And please comment and tell us why. Um, sorry, excuse me. I'm, I'm kind of sick for the first time in forever. I don't know why. And I really would like it to go away. So, okay, uh, first, before I go, question you probably have, should I do this? Is it safe? I've had this going for about a week now. As you can see, temperatures, come on, focus. Hey, there we go. Temperatures aren't rising too much. I mean, uh, without an overclock, these would probably be at 115, 120. So, I'd, I'd sacrificed a max of 20 degrees more for double the performance. You know, more than doubled. Almost tripled, actually. With exactly zero crashes. And quite an increase in performance overall. So, yep, before this gets too long and boring, thanks for watching. Peace.